Hello friends, welcome to Perf Matrix, the core performance testing YouTube channel. After getting many requests, I decided to create a video series on performance engineering that will help you to enhance your performance engineering knowledge. In this video series, I will try to cover all the performance engineering topics which are required to make you a perfect performance engineer. So let's start. Let's start by understanding what is performance engineering. Software performance engineering is a systematic approach of constructing the software that meets the performance objectives like user load, responsiveness, zero downtime system, etc. Basically, performance engineering is driven by business requirements and based on these requirements, an efficient software application or system is developed and delivered. The approach of performance engineering is more related to design a tuned software application at early stage of the software development life cycle, whose performance satisfies all the non-functional requirements during performance testing phase. You can say that performance engineering is a methodology to optimize the performance of the application from the earliest stage and deliver a perfect solution software. The involvement of a performance engineer at the initial phase reduces the last minute application tuning activities. In short, the main aim of performance engineering is to provide better business value for the organization by discovering potential issues early in the development cycle to reduce the cost of fixing the bottlenecks in the later stage. So here I have explained you the definition of performance engineering along with its actual objective. Now try to understand the actual need of performance engineering in the software world. As I told you before, performance engineering reduces the need to rework and refactor the application in the later development cycles and it results that the software application performs better precisely because the performance was an early consideration and an integral part of the design. The second need of performance engineering is to provide better business value for the organization by proper designing the software, considering the performance factor and discovering potential issues early in the development cycle. It reduces the overall cost of the software development because as you move down the line from the design phase to the production, the cost of fixing a bug increases. Performance engineering art helpful to improve the performance of a legacy system. Consider an old banking system. 20 years ago, bank offered limited online services or none at all. You could do some money transaction which even takes time or at more you just use ATM. Even the banking website were created only for the information or advertise purpose. And they were too slow. Today everything is more complicated. In addition to transfer the money, virtual wallet, shopping, investment, buying a policy, share market, mutual funds, all are available via internet banking. Nowadays, developers are developing the software in such a manner that banking system become too fast. Within a second, you can transfer the money, investment anywhere. Even the application supports all the major browsers including mobile. All of these new features and computing environment have to work with legacy backend code designed to manage the software system as the world existed 20 years ago. They also have to meet the performance requirement of today. Hence, performance engineering works here. DevOps and performance engineering deliver consistent production performance results, allowing customers to deploy application efficiently 
with more confident and to roll out high performing stable software that fulfill users expectation one of the important need of performance engineering is that it delivers end to end system optimization through a continuous testing and monitoring process once the code is released performance engineering track the application in production by tapping into application performance monitoring tools now let's discuss the scope of performance engineering here you can see the typical software development life cycle which shows all the phases of sdlc from requirement collection to maintenance in this model performance testing falls under testing phase where various types of other testings are also conducted as a typical approach we think that the performance engineering comes into picture when performance testing starts and the purpose of performance engineer is to analyze the test result and understand the bottleneck by identifying the actual root cause and then suggest the solution to resolve the issue actually it is not the case qualified performance engineer must be involved in the sdlc from the day first so that he can collect and understand the non functional requirement analyze the nfr provide his input in the designing of the software to make the application good enough from performance perspective also share the view on hardware sizing resizing and scaling understand the critical business flow and zero downtime system and create performance workload modeling the next phases could be driven by a performance tester but definitely they will also need the inputs and guidance from performance engineer to simulate the real world scenario in the performance testing environment the last phase that is in depth result analysis requires full involvement of performance engineer to understand the bottleneck by identifying the actual root cause and then suggest the solution or resolve the issue here you may get confused with the roles and responsibilities of performance tester and performance engineer so i will try to differentiate the task of both the roles let's see what is the actual difference between pt and pe starting with the performance testing performance testing is a quality check of the application in terms of application's responsiveness and load handling capacity whereas performance engineering aims to design the application by keeping the performance metrics in mind and also to discover potential issues early in the development cycle performance testing verifies how a system will perform under production load and to anticipate issues that might arise during heavy load conditions on the other hand performance engineering helps to design how a system will perform under production load performance testing is a distinctive qa process that occurs once a round of development is completed whereas performance engineering is an ongoing process that occurs through all phases of development cycle that is from design phase to development phase to quality assurance or qa a dedicated performance tester or team conduct the performance testing who has sound knowledge of performance testing concept tool operation result analysis etc a performance engineer is a person who has enough knowledge of the application design architecture development tuning performance optimization and bottleneck root cause investigation as well as fixing when a bottleneck is identified during the performance testing then the role of performance tester is to analyze the test result and raise a defect on the other hand the job of performance engineer is to investigate the root cause and propose the solution to resolve the bottleneck performance tester does not much care about the design and the architecture of the application he just focused on the application behavior under load whereas performance engineer cares about how efficient 
each component of the application is performing under load. Performance testing life cycle that is PTLC covers all the phases of performance testing. Whereas performance engineering life cycle that is PELC covers all the engineering activities and deliverables. Hence, both the life cycles are different from each other. Hope you understood the definition and need of performance engineering along with the difference between performance testing and performance engineering. To make the journey of performance engineering more interesting and knowledgeable, I will cover the following topics in the future videos which are application architecture, hardware and software, critical business flow, workload modeling, in-depth test result analysis which includes client, server, network states, garbage collection, heap dump analysis, thread dump analysis, AWR report and application performance optimization techniques. These topics will be helpful to upskill you from performance tester to performance engineer. That's it. That's all in this introductory video of performance engineering. In the next video, I will cover the basic architectures of a software system and provide detailed information about that. Till that, stay connected with Perfmetrics, the core performance testing YouTube channel.